Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here's Van Amsen with another live coding uh, challenge. So today, a uh, little code challenge, a uh, maximum score of good subarray number uh, 1793. It's marked as hard. So uh, today we are unpacking an intriguing problem that challenges uh, your algorithmic power. So stay with me until the end and we will try to uh, solve it step by step, uh, dive deep uh, into the logic and also uh, life code our uh, solution and also test it. So, all right, let's delve into our problem for today. We are tasked with finding the maximum score of what's termed a good array or good sub array. Uh, but what exactly consists a good sub array? So, well, for any sub array, it's score is given by the product of its smallest element and its length. And subarray is deemed good if it consists, uh, yeah, contains the element at specific index key. So our mission is to uh, deduce the subarray that deliver uh, as uh, big score as possible, so top score. So to paint a clearer picture, let's work through an example. So uh, let's look at uh, this particular array. So it will be one, four, uh, three, seven, four, five. And our key will be uh, three uh, as our uh, index. So, uh, here, the sub array is spanning from four, so it's index one, to index five, uh, with five, uh, will give uh, possibly highest score. So what will be uh, the score? Uh, so uh, the score will be as follows. So it will be three times five. So we have five elements, so five, uh, so yeah, total 15, and with three, being the smallest uh, value in this uh, sub array. So we have uh, the minimum, so three from here, three and five is the, yeah, the span of our uh, sub array. Okay, so now when we understand the task, uh, how can we solve it? So with the problem set, let's brainstorm our strategy. So, uh, we will employ a sliding window technique and we will uh, enter our window at index key and then uh, decide which direction to expand, uh, either left or right. And this choice is uh, influenced by the neighboring values. And as we slide, uh, we will uh, monitor the smallest value within our uh, window and simultaneously compute the score. Uh, so, okay, uh, let's uh, code it up. So first up, let's initialize our pointers uh, left and right to key. And we will also set our minimum value to the value at index key, essentially giving us uh, our starting score or uh, sub array from key to key. Okay, so initialize left, right, equal key key and minimum value will be num key and max score will be minimum value. And with every uh, movement, we will adjust our uh, minimum value to reflect the current window. And uh, concurrently, we will calculate the score updating our max score if we stumble upon a higher value. So expand our window until until either left pointer reaches beginning or right pointer reaches end. So while left or right less than length num minus one. So if next right 
value is greater than the previous left value, move the right pointer. So if left is zero or right, so yep, left is uh, first index, uh, num minus one, and num right plus one, greater than num left minus one, we move right plus one. And else, so otherwise, move the left pointer. So it will be left minus one. And update the minimum value in the current window. Uh, so uh, we are looping uh, through and we will ensure we are uh, yeah, considering every possible sub array uh, before uh, yeah, returning. So minimum value will be minimum of minimum value, num left, num right, and calculate the score for the current window and the max score if necessary. So max score will be max score minimum value times right minus left plus one. Uh, yeah, and return the highest score we found. So return just max score and that's it. So uh, now let's uh, test it. So hopefully it will yeah, work. So uh, as previously mentioned, uh, for this particular test case, output 15, all good. So now let's submit it also for unseen test cases to double check it's working. So it's working. Yeah. So basically now uh, beating 45% uh, with respect to uh, runtime and 84% with respect to uh, memory. So all good. Uh, we can even uh, rerun it to double check uh, it's working. So yeah, I think I have uh, previously a bit uh, higher score, but uh, probably it's uh, differ uh, from runtime to runtime. So yeah, memory beats uh, 93% and 47 with respect to runtime. So uh, this is a Python solution. So our code is uh, good and produce a correct uh, output. And also it's quite straightforward if you uh, yeah, understand it deeper and also it's uh, yeah, still quite uh, efficient. And uh, yeah, so uh, if you interested in other languages, like for example, Rust that took just 15 uh, milliseconds instead of uh, 1050 per milliseconds. So uh, I will provide link in the description below uh, to other implementation in, uh, yeah, obviously Python. Uh, Rust, Go, C++, and much more. Uh, and uh, that's a wrap uh, our today's session. Uh, so I hope you gain uh, some additional uh, knowledge how to uh, yeah, approach this task and solve it. And if uh, yeah, you have uh, any question or suggestion, please leave them in the comment section uh, below. And yeah, if you like it, uh, give it a thumbs up sure and subscribe for more uh, tutorial challenges machine learning tech uh, coding and much more and remember practice make perfect so keep refining your skill uh, stay motivated happy coding and see you next time